Welcome back everyone. In videos 1 and 2, we provided a deep dive into the building block's background, then assembled a grid report. Video 3 will tie this whole thing up and will graphically represent the data in memory within the MicroStrategy dossier interface. This video is meant as a primer to get exposed to the analytical possibilities of visually representing your data in MicroStrategy BI. Alright, we're back to where we were at the tail end of video 2. We've run our report and it's shown in report mode. As alluded in video 2, there's a Create Dossier button. This will take your data to the next level. Since we've been engaging in a lot of ad hoc tweaking, the report needs to be saved to proceed. The report is saved to the My Reports region. And the Dates prompt redisplays. This time the status reads as Running Child Reports. This is because dossiers often draw their data from multiple sources. You'll notice the report options are not available for dossiers from within the history list. The dossier interface is broken up into several panes, from left to right, the contents pane for high level organization, the datasets pane, which displays all the data sources for the dossier, the editor pane, which houses the selected columns, filters, and options. The Visualizations pane, which is akin to the work area in design mode. This is where the visualizations are displayed. Lastly, the Visualizations gallery. This contains built-in and custom visualization types. The Visualization button above the Visualization pane adds more dossiers to the mix. They'll come up as Visualization 1, 2, etc. until you rename them. We don't need to see a grid report in the dossier. Click on the Options menu from Visualization 1 and choose Delete. A bubble chart is now selected as the visualization type. When the editor pane is populated with data elements, the visualization pane will accommodate to that data. Because the data is in memory, or commonly referred to as cached memory, visualizations will update immediately. No need to re-retrieve the data for all those minute changes as you are working within the dossier itself. The displayed visualization is representing drug product names across gross drug cost amount per beneficiary. The colors are managed by Drug Therapeutic Class 2. The size of the bubble chart circles is sourced from Drug Utilizing Benny's Number. Tooltips are available upon hovering over the visualization elements. The Filter tab in the Editor pane allows for on-the-fly insertion of filters based upon available data elements. Visualization 2 is displaying data from gross drug cost amount per Benny of greater than roughly $100,000. Should you feel emboldened, additional data can be inserted into the mix of columns selected from the design mode earlier. Existing objects in this menu refers to the 1,479 building blocks columns. The contents pane has been moved from a pane to a tab, something similar to what one would see in Microsoft Excel. And geodata has been added to the datasets pane and editor pane. This visualization displays PDE fills across gross drug cost amount. The same tooltip functionality resides within this visualization. This is the same dossier, but now filtered for amounts roughly under $200,000. PDE fills has been replaced by gross drug cost amount per Benny in the size by field. This may have exposed something to investigate. When we look at the unfiltered view from gross drug cost amount, a big ticket item is displayed. Resetting the filter for the whole country exposes California as having a large gross drug cost amount. Hovering over that dot displays Los Angeles County. Filtering on California itself adjusts the visualization to display something similar to what we saw for St. Mary's County in Maryland. Filtering for a more narrow range or gross drug cost amount removes the large county data. 
Here's an example of a key performance indicator visualization type. GeoFIPS County runs the trend. Here is an example of a line chart, which calculates percentage of gross drug cost amount in three categories. The chemotherapy drug, Revlimid, pops up as notable in Los Angeles County. As you can likely ascertain, there's a lot of analytical options available which marry the data with the tool. The robust nature of the Building Blocks project is a recipe for success when querying IDR data. Thank you for viewing these video tutorials. We're hopeful they will serve as useful training aids for your business use. Have a great day and be safe.